I've heard a little about the second chance and you know I've been chasing that opportunity down because I'm 64 years old. I just don't have the energy for the nonsense no more. And if, you know when I die like my kids and somebody look at me on a positive note that, that dad or papa you know he was doing something positive. To be honest I wasn't sure how much I expected um, but I know you and I know the, the change that you make within people around you as well as the community. And coming here today, like literally, I grew up two blocks down that way. To see what you're about to bring back into this community is amazing. You're about to infuse community with nothing but good. And you're going to uplift those who are looking for a second chance. I, I can only speak for myself, but I know that uh, when we get out of prison, that it's very important to find a job, to be accepted, and to know that people will give us a second chance at life. So for me, I want to take every opportunity to prove not only to myself, but to my family that I'm gonna do the right thing. I, I, I think it's fantastic. I mean, when you talk about uh, creating a competitive environment um, for Delaware, for Newcastle County, for the city of Wilmington, you have to talk about people that are here right now. And how do we help people that are returning to society become successful and be in positions where they can take care of their family and contribute to society. That's our responsibility, uh, leaders, um, to make sure that those opportunities are available. So although I've only been home like 90 days now, you know, I'm, I'm gonna stay the course. And I appreciate all the help I can get. I'm gonna do my part. I know society don't owe me nothing, but I'm willing to, to earn my part. Just open up the door, I get it. Just give me a chance, please.